Hey, what's up, baby? I think it is about time that I finished my story time thing that I was doing. I don't have any internet on my phone. I've gone over the limit. So that sucks. And the internet at my mum's house is out. So I'm hopefully going to be able to upload this. If I can, that'd be good. Moving on to story time. Story time news. Yeah. Give me a sec. Okay. So, girlfriend number three. Labeling the girlfriends. Dick move, Geordie. But yeah, okay, Sarah. Uh, if you have been watching me for a while now, you would have seen my vlogs from last year. And I, pretty much, that went through the whole relationship with Sarah, though. Pretty much the whole relationship. We'll start with how me and Sarah met. I, I had a recent, I'd broken up with Danny, and it had been about, oh, about a, about a couple weeks. And, um, I decided it was, you know, time to stop dwelling and just get out there. So, I messaged Sarah on, on Facebook, and I was like, I think you're gorgeous, just saying. Now, I hadn't talked to her beforehand, I think I'd maybe talked to her once in person for like 10 seconds. So yeah, so, good opening, Geordie. She didn't reply for freaking hours. I was sh shitting bricks, man. I was scared. I was like, dude. I did, what, oh my god, what's she gonna think of me? Oh, yeah, 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 ah. She messaged me back, finally. I messaged her at around 2.30. She messaged back at around 8. So, when she messaged back, I was happy, and she actually replied, and we started talking. And then it kind of built up. Eventually, we talked in person, and it built up, and after a few weeks, you know, it was time for me to ask her around. And this is like all over YouTube already. Uh, this is pretty funny, but... Okay, so our first kiss was the day before I asked her out. We were at Founding Gate Shops. Um, Founding Gate, it's just a shopping centre. We went to the movies, we saw X-Men First Class. And that was a good movie, by the way. We saw that, and afterwards we went down to this little lake area, and I was trying to kiss her for so many times, and she kept on like... Hua, 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 hua. And she was just, like, ninja moves. It wasn't that she was wanting, it was that she, you know, she was, you know, nervous. And that's understandable. And then I gave her the ultimatum. The ultimatum. Trust me, this works. Where you go, okay, I'm going to count to ten. This is if you know that they like you back, but they're just nervous. You go, I'm going to count to ten. If you don't kiss me by the time I get to ten, then we'll just be friends. You know, we'll just be friends. And you go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you get to 10. I got to 10. She didn't kiss me. And I'm like, okay. She didn't kiss me. I'll go for one more move in. She kissed me back. And then it was like, bang! And I was like, bang! And I was like, woo! And I was like, ow! And then I was like, whoop! Whoop! It was such a good moment. I actually did that. No, I didn't. That would've been awesome, though. So, that happened. <laughs> and, yeah. So, that was our first kiss. And after that, we were kissing like a couple, man. It was just, it was just natural. It was good. It was fun. The next day, I knew I had to ask her out. I knew, because I knew when it came to the kiss that, at that point, if I kissed her, I would have to date her. And I thought about it. I'm like, yep, yeah, I want to date this girl, man. I would marry this girl. I'd, I'd have her babies. I'd, I'd be the one that carried the babies in the stomach and have them. But yeah, okay. So, so the next day, I was thinking of how I was going to ask her out. I filmed a YouTube video and I posted it. It's still online. Uh, how to, the best way to ask out a beautiful girl. I posted that, I had finished school early, uh, I think it was because of exams, I finished school early, and I went home, filmed filmed it, uploaded it, came back to school, caught her, like, literally seconds before she was leaving the school, ah, oh, timing, you just know when things are right, when the timing's right, showed her the video, and, uh, and yeah, and she said yes, and it was just good, it was good, and then... The relationship only lasted three months, but it felt like forever. It was honestly a really good relationship. Even and Maybe it was because it was so short. The fact that it ended before things got terrible, you know? Maybe that's why. But yeah, so it lasted three months. And you, you watched the whole relationship online. So if you want to go back to my vlogs, um, you know, the, it's all there. It's all there. It's, it's right there. But yeah, so yeah. Uh, the way it ended was weird. And I honestly don't think I've ever recovered fully from it. I don't know. I don't think it's that I still love her. I think it's the fact that my heart never recovered fully. It's really weird. So now I'm in this weird limbo where I don't... 
have feelings for anyone, which is strange for me, because I, over the course of my girlfriends, it happened over the course of like three years, so, you know, every year I'd have some kind of girlfriend, and this year it just feels empty, there's that part of me that feels empty, and I guess you kind of feel that, so, hmm. but yeah, so it's, it's, it's just, I feel weird, because I don't have it, that spark for anyone, and it's hard to imagine me getting that spark back now after Sarah, so, so yeah, so that was that relationship. And that's the final thing for story time. That is the last one. That is that. So if you want to actually go see, we've got vlogs together. You can go see those, they're pretty cute. But yeah, so that's pretty much all for today. I'm going to work out. I hopefully will get internet back. Or I'm going to kill myself. I can't live without internet. It's no YouTube. Do you know? Ah, oh, I have so many people that post like every day. It is so hard to like not, you know? Ah. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, I guess I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching. Uh, my conclusion to this story time questions. The question can be, uh, what, uh, oof. the best kiss you've ever had? The best kiss, or at least the most meaningful. I've had a lot, but a lot. I sound like a slut. Nah, but the Sarah one was a big one, because, it, I don't know, it just felt like a deciding moment. I don't know, it's just weird. It's weird, it's, uh, I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, so, a kiss that you remember fondly. There we go, a kiss that you remember fondly. Comment down below, let me know, and I shall talk to you guys tomorrow, and I will talk about things, a little about this. And if you want to know anything, like, stories about things, just ask me questions, and I'll post a whole vlog about the story of something. Anything, really. But yeah, cool. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I always say I'm gonna go, and then I talk for another 10 minutes. Like, when I talk about talking about talking about talking for 10 minutes after I finished talking, and I said I was gonna go. Anyway. Peace, chicken. Have a wonderful day, night, evening, afternoon, all the fancy stuff. Don't forget to smile. <sighs> Good golly. Look at these lines under my eyes. I think I'm, I think I'm tired. I don't know. Okay, see you guys. Good. Bye. I love you.